Those arrested in connection with the syringe attacks that triggered the latest unrest in Urumqi will face harsh punishment. Local authorities say those convicted of attacks with syringes containing poisonous or harmful substances or contaminated by drug use may be sentenced to three years or more in prison. They could possibly even face life imprisonment or the death penalty. Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region has set up several working teams to maintain social stability in the regional capital Urumqi. Team members have been going to communities to help local residents following recent syringe attacks in the city. The regional government is sending 600 experienced officials to communities in Urumqi. Along with nearly 7,000 officials from the city government of Urumqi, they're going door to door to explain policies and help solve problems. We will explain the government policies to local residents and tell them about the real situation since the July 5th incident. We will also learn about the problems that need to be solved. People in Urumqi are gradually returning to their normal routines. We now have a sense of stability. That's unlike a couple days ago when we felt a bit nervous. The recent syringe attacks have seriously affected businesses in the city. For example, this shop, which earned hundreds of yuan per day before, now almost has no customers. Members of a working team listened to her difficulties and offered their suggestions. My business was affected and they told me I can talk to tax department and demand tax exemption. Officials will continue their work in more than 100 communities, hoping to allay public uneasiness as quickly as possible. Mike Patterson, CCTV.